187 erupted That's when my life was disrupted From then on I knew the Lord was the only one that could ever be trusted It's only God since my birth Until my death I'ma bring the Lord to this earth And carry the weight upon my back for what it's worth I know that it's a gift and not a curse and I know better So I'ma do my thing and pray hard through any weather The clouds could bring rain, the earth could bring destruction But I'ma keep my focus and forever stay trusting I know that I ain't here for nothing, I gotta bring sight I know I can be the one to lead my people to the light So I gotta stay right when they try to stem me wrong And this part of the reason that I'm doing this song So I gotta hold on I know that I ain't here for nothing, nothing. I ain't leaving for father fights, so the Lord, you know I'm trusting. So I gotta hold on. I know that I'm here for something, something. I'm guided by this light, so the Lord, you know that I'm trusting. So I gotta hold on. I know that I ain't here for nothing, nothing. And I ain't leaving with father fights, so the Lord, you know I'm trusting. So I gotta hold on. I know that I'm here for something, something. I'm guided by his light, so the Lord, you know that I'm trusting. Trust. Drugs. To sell drugs. That's something good. Nah, that ain't good, but it's the others that be talking about real trust. They talking about money? Money ain't in, ain't everything. Because when you chasing that money like they chasing it, it's gonna get you locked up. I know y'all know people who live locked up right now. Yup. Uh, I know y'all need to locked up right now. Hmm? Right. Free little nine nine. Free little nine Yeah, you saying free little nine nine, his ass is in jail for a reason. Because y'all following this society and what they tell y'all, y'all should be. And I'm telling you what, we're going to tell you what God said, what Christ told y'all to be. Because he knew Christ was black. Somebody else said he was white. <laughs> the fact that you believe in that he white, that means that you brainwashed. Because he's not white. He tell you what he looked like right in here. But when you go to church, they never going to bring that out. They never going to tell you the truth because they want you to stay sinning. Now the truth is, y'all the people of this book. <laughs> You'll be from the tribe of Judah. Judah, Judah. You'll be from the tribe of Issachar. Y'all need to raise like that. Like what tribe of Judah are you? Like a Baptist? This ain't no church, brother. We out here teaching your nationality. We out here teaching you God's chosen people. We ain't out here with, with no religion. Religion gonna keep you in sin. Religion gonna have you wearing idolatry around your neck. That's going right. against God. We out here trying to tell our brothers to wake up. And do what God told you to do so you won't suffer the same consequences that our other brothers have suffered out here in the streets. Because the streets ain't nowhere for a black man to be. You see how the police killing brothers in the street? Y'all age. They don't give a damn. They don't give a damn if you if you a black man and you 12 years old, you 15 years old, you see they ain't they killing us? And what's happening after that? Ain't they getting away with it? They getting held not guilty. Now, how come you don't see no, no little white boys getting killed? No Chinese boys getting killed? No Arab boys? You feel like doing that was shit as a video after. Shit as a video. No, we can't, we can't, can't, do, can't, can't do that. I mean, that's scriptures for, for your hand gestures and everything. You already know that, did you? Man, y'all y'all the best people on the face of this planet. We can pull it out the scriptures. God made y'all better than everybody else. But this country, this society, this world say, Y'all the worst thing in this society. We the worst thing in this society. We was y'all age once. How we been in there? Because y'all guys chose the people. God chose us out of everybody on the planet to be his people. That's why you think why you think you got what percentage of the NBA is black? It's about seventy five percent. What percentage of the NFL is black? About like twenty. Yeah, it's about 75 or 6. Uh, uh, a, majority, so. a majority of them black. When you go to baseball, all those Dominicans and Cubans and all those brothers that's brown and look just like you, them your brothers too. We, in sports, we dominate everything in sports. If we was to go play hockey, we would dominate that. You know what I'm saying? Give me Deuteronomy 76. It, science, invention, we invented everything. Y'all know about slavery, don't you? You think slavery was a good thing? Nope. We still in slavery. If you go to jail, if you go to the pen, you back in slavery. That's all you gonna be. A slave. You got that? Got that. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, <laughs> chapter 7 and verse 6. Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. 
the word holy means separate. We're supposed to be a separate people from all other people. Three, the Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Go ahead. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. No, equal to. Above all people that are up on the face of the earth. Y'all hear that, brother? Y'all better than all the people on the face of the earth. Why you think they hate you? Y'all ain't even begin to feel the hate yet. Y'all ain't grown. Make sure you get grown. You walking in. I know y'all probably do feel it. You go in these corner stores, how they act. Don't they act crazy? Yeah. Yeah. Your own people hate it. Because that's been embedded in us in slavery. You got to spoil that? The Lord thy God had set his love upon you, nor chose you, because ye were more in number than any people. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 15. The book of Deuteronomy. Hold up. It's a reason why people hate us, man. It's because of that scripture right there. We above all people on the face of this planet. But it's a reason why we at the bottom. It's because we are hard headed people. Our people are hard headed as hell. Your people are hard headed as hell. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to listen to what God told us to do, but they'd rather listen to what the white man told them to do. And that's why the white man killing us in the street and God ain't doing nothing about it. Because until we come do what he told us to do, that's when he's going to have your back. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass. I mean, and it's going to happen. It's future prophecy. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses told the Israelites. I don't know if y'all familiar with Moses and the Israelites coming out of Egypt. Those were our people. And when he brought them out of Egypt, he told them. That if, read that again. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we will not listen unto the words of the Lord our God. Read. To observe. To do all his commandments. To do what? All his commandments. To do what? All his commandments. So we're supposed to do all the commandments that the Most High God told us to do. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. that all these curses, all these what? Curses. All these what? Curses. Is a curse a good thing? No. Read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses told us if we don't listen to what God told us to do, that these curses don't come upon us. Now this is how we know we the people of the book because of these curses. And when we bring them out, y'all gonna know too. Read. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Now let me ask you a question. Who cursed in the city? Who cursed in these ghettos? Us. Who, can, who, can, who got black on black crime? We do. In Los Angeles, Dallas, Chicago, L.A., New York. We killing each other. We all killing each other. The blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans. Read. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. Who was cursed in the cotton fields? In the sugar cane fields and slavery? In the tobacco fields. You can Google that. Our people are going to come up. Because we was cursed to do that. Our whole nation was taken into slavery. And we got made to serve hard bondage to the white man. Because we stopped listening to what God told us to do. Give me uh, 32. No, give me 68. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee. And to Egypt again with ships. So Moses said the Lord was going to bring the Israelites into Egypt again with ships. Now the word Egypt means something. It's a Greek word. That's not the name of that landmass over in Africa. It's, it's a word that means something. Bring it out. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. We get everything from the scriptures. None of this is coming off the top of our dome. It's from the scriptures. All you're supposed to do is research, study, and, and get your learning from the scriptures. Read. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Did you get that? What does what the word Egypt mean? Out of house of bondage. Sister, what's another word for bondage? <laughs> but I'm out, we out here for you too, sis. That's right. What we out here showing these young men right here is that we are the people of this Bible. And the way you know who the, the Hebrew Israelites and how you know who the Israelites are today is by the curses that Moses told us that we were going to be under if we didn't keep the commandments. So check this. You already know. So check this curse out. So we went and got the word Egypt from the scripture. It means house of bondage. So we're going to put 
but we came up. Slavery is a better known term for us right now. So we're going to replace the word Egypt with the word slavery and see what this sound like to you. Read uh, 68. And, <clears throat> and the Lord shall bring thee into slavery again with ships. Now, who went into slavery by way of slave ships? Whites. White people went into slavery on slave ships? We went into slavery on slave ships. Y'all went into slavery first. When Christopher Columbus came over here in 1492 to America, he started taking Native Americans back to Spain first in 1492. And then they came over here, they took us from Europe, brought us over here, and then they went to the west coast of Africa and started picking us up. But what were the people, what about the people that were already here? They, they, they Israelites also. That's right. Right in this book right here, the Apocrypha, which belongs in the, in here, it tells you how they got over. They God's people too. They broke the laws also. Yeah, yeah. Hebrew. Yes, yes ma'am. You a Hebrew Israelite also. We not African Americans. So, this is my question because I did a lot of studying and stuff, and um, I found out that the my question is, what's, what's going to be like, what's going to be the difference that makes y'all stand out? Because my mother didn't grew up Catholic. We grew up Rastafarian. Um, I studied out Islam. I studied with the nation. I studied with Bible study. I done studied with a lot of people, but uh, Rastafarian talk about the, the lost tribe, the total line of Benjamin and all that other stuff. But what's going to make like, what's going to make your message different from, um, I guess, the next? Because, uh, what are those religions, which we're not supposed to be on, is any of those religions telling you who you are according to the scriptures? Is any of those religions giving you the solutions for our nation to come out the curses that we up under? As a matter of fact, it, de it depends on how you look at it, and it depends on what resources you take on each. But I'm going to tell you this. Does any of those religions Does any of those religions tell you the prophecies that's in this book that's telling you, like we reading right now, that you boys gonna go into slavery by way of slave ships, be sold as slave men to slave men to your enemies? Did any of those religions tell you that your children were gonna be taken from you and you will have no might in your hands to keep them? Those religions and don't do that. That's been because everybody is kind of, as a people of color, we have been under bondage, and they've been raping us, they've been taking off, and they've been doing this for centuries now. Read that again, but which one of these religions is telling you that that was going to happen to you? And... I'm not going to say they didn't say it, but they may acknowledge it in some way or form. They may acknowledge it, but... Okay. But sister, we telling you straight up, yeah. thus saith the Lord. According to the curses that's in Deuteronomy chapter 20, I'm not, I'm not going to put a clip on that. I'm not going to put a clip on that. So, when you pray, who do y'all pray? I already told my mom that she knew. I told her when she got the shower, she's going to pick me up. I'm not going to put a clip on that. I'm not going to put a clip on that. I'm not going to put a clip on that. I'm not going to put a clip on that. I'm not going to put a clip on that. I'm not going to put a clip on that. I'm not going to put a clip on that. I'm not going to put a clip on that. I'm not going to put a clip on that. I'm not going to put a clip on that. I'm not going to put a clip on that. I'm not going to put a clip on that. I'm not going to put a clip on that. I'm not going to put a clip on that. I'm not going to put a what religion are you? I'm at, I'm not in the front of, yeah, tell me going to the house. What, what are, I just, I, I'm sorry, I'm just being nosed. I'll oh, be no, honest no. with you. I we, live up north, I live in Frisco, and I don't get down here much, but I almost cried listening to you guys teach these young people, right? And to be positive, the stuff that you were saying that I, I'm like, I mean, I, does I say that, the hairs on my arm stand because what y'all are doing, you don't mind people who take time out of their day to give to other people for just no reasons other than you care. And that, a, I commend you, brother. I will give you the utmost respect. And I am right. so thankful that I'm here right now to, to witness what y'all are doing. It is amazing. And that's what I'm trying to explain to the sister. sister we ordain the bloodline. We Hebrew Israelites. You Hebrew Israelites. So our duty, like when Christ went out with the disciples, they were going to other Israelites who had been into bondage and didn't, wasn't keep, well, that was trying to keep the law of sacrifice. And we're going to them, telling them, don't do that no more. Christ came to be the ultimate sacrifice. Come back to your nationality and keep these laws of God. That's what we're telling our people because, uh-huh. 
this is not a universal book. You know how you go to China, China got a constitution, right? That constitution applies to the Chinese, doesn't it? That doesn't apply to everybody else. It's the same thing with this book. This is literally our constitution because the law, statutes, commandments of God were given it to us. That, that's how you make a nation. Because remember, we was going out of Egypt. We was going, we went into the wilderness. And then after 40 years, we went and proceeded to go on and get our inheritance. Well, for you to have a nation of people, you got to have order. You got to have laws. Well, we got given the laws of God. Hold up, let me bring this out. Wait, hold your question. Bring it up. The book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. Read. He showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob is the father of the Israelites. So he showed his word unto Jacob. And his statutes and judgments unto Israel. And his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Go ahead. He had not dealt so with any nation. He ain't dealt so with any nation. He's not dealing with these other nations. And we can prove this just by just talking about it. You take the biggest populations in the world, the Chinese. What's their religion? Buddhism. Buddhism. The East Indians. Hinduism. Arabs. Islam. White people, they worship white Jesus. Those people are not doing nothing in this book. When the, what was that? Psalms what? Psalms 147 and 19. Yes, sir. So, I know you have go to church. No, we don't go to church. We have a church right now. Where two or three are gathered in my name, that's church. But I still don't get the correlation here. Like, between... I get it. You say you're, you're not Christian. Or you are of, a, uh, of an organization. We are the organization. We are we we are the organization. So you're just saying you're you're simply believers and followers of Christ. Is this is this is the thing. We are out here for the true Israelites. Because this is the Israelite book. We know our true nationality now. We can go into the white man history and prove that we Israelites, Jews, shall I say. We're the real Jews that the Bible speaks of. Those ones in Israel. Give me uh Revelations two and nine. So we out here because we've been blessed to know who we are. So we come out here to wait for people. When you say we, do you mean like, 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 you don't mean an organization, you mean y'all two are together. Well, so we came from another, all of us yeah, we That's came from another bigger organization. That's where I'm going. But we got our, we the disciples, well, this ain't the shirt. <laughs> but we the disciples of Christ. That's what our organization is. But with or without an organization, we still will be out here regardless. Because that's not a Christian organization. Look, Christian is a religion. It's like Christian, you know, it's a fantasy, it's um, a church not a Christ. My question, my question is, okay, okay. I don't think, every, okay, everybody did not come from, let me not do that. So do y'all still believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins? Mashiach Yahushua died on the cross for our sins, for the gift. That's where that's 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 it right there. Give me she Luke, did it. Give me Luke. That's fine. There you go. <laughs> Matter of fact, that's that is. That's, that's nope. it. Give me Acts. Oh, give me Acts thirteen twenty three. That's another. That's. That's his name in Hebrew. Why y'all not? Me, I'm why finna show y'all well, something. I'm finna show y'all something. Y'all we finna okay? we finna break this whole Christian religious stuff down because what they don't do, they do not keep the law of God. They don't do what's in the Bible. Christ, the Most High said, keep it Sabbath. Sabbath is Friday to Saturday. What day do they go to church on? Sunday. The Catholic Church ordained them to do that. The Catholic Church has nothing to do with this. The Catholic Church is a bunch.